she actually won a uh, Richmond Oaks Frosty Fruits, which is the dam of this very, very short price favourite, and on what she's done in trial, she'll be hard to beat here. Set to go, light and lure, ready. Racing now, Frosty Vintage began safely, showing speed Zipporah from the inside. Frosty Vintage is humming down the outside. All oh, the leaders have come together, but Frosty Vintage will manage to hold some momentum, and she's going up to tackle again for the lead. Wandy Mick goes to third, followed then by Ben Dung Bound, which is fourth. Further back in the field, then Big Seal. Where's Brian drifting out of it? Then Elite Gina checking off heels with Spa Release. She's last. Well, Frosty Vintage, I looked down for one moment. She was going to tackle for the lead. She's now 10 in front. Oh, it's going to romp in. Frosty Vintage looked real good. One well, one well. Beat Wears Brian. Photo for third. Uh, big Seal getting home well was Elite Gina. They were followed in by Bandung Bound. Wandy Mix Zipporah. 31 seconds. Well, she hasn't run the hands off the clock, but uh, she's going to be something. She's only won a maiden here tonight, but the way she won, uh, Chaser only having a second start. She... Not only had a wide draw to overcome, she copped severe interference at the first turn. Was able to balance herself back up and just exploded off the back. I said in the call, I, last time I looked, she was tackling for the lead and by the time I got through the field, she put 10 lengths on them and she won by 15 at the finish. You just saw her there on the, on the replay. She copped that bad bump at the first turn and she was balanced again in the, the twinkling of an eye and she's just shown a, a very, very good turn of foot there.